Hello? Do you hear me well? Yeah. Okay, my name is Dmitry Pedovsky. I will speak uh, about uh, the history of uh, providing Russian uh, crypto algorithms in uh, the OpenSSL toolkit. Uh, though it contains uh, some uh, Russian specific details, it will be useful for those who want to provide uh, new crypto to well, I think not uh, only to OpenSSL, but uh, to any uh, functional enough toolkit. So, first of all, who am I? As I told, my name is Dmitry Belovsky. I'm reading OpenSSL code uh, since uh, 2005. Sometimes I understand what happens, uh, sometimes I don't, especially in uh, stuff related to constant time. Uh, my main job currently is uh, a Russian uh, crypto, uh, cryptographical company, Cryptocom Limited. Uh, I'm senior developer and I also participated in various uh, open source projects, uh, mostly related uh, either to cryptography or to domain registration uh, stuff. So, first of all, what is R R Russian Ghost itself? Uh, uh, it's a set of uh, cryptographic algorithms. The eldest one uh, was uh, approved uh, in 1989 uh, at uh, Soviet Union time. At that time it uh, treated as uh, a bit paranoical with its very long uh, K with uh, its K, sh its K, K, K schedule. But, uh, well, it's still alive and uh, the concurrence uh, who we all uh, have gone. Uh, Russian uh, standards uh, include both first class algorithms, full stack of them, such as block ciphers, uh, message authentication, uh, of course, digests, of course, digital signature. But uh, these algorithms themselves are almost, not only, are almost not usable without supplementary algorithms. We need the uh, pseudo random function, we need the uh, derivation. Uh, of the shared K, we need various functions related to K wrap uh, and so on and so forth. So the history for, for me begins in uh, 2005 uh, when uh, the company I worked, it was a Cryptocom at that time too, <laughs> it was my pre-previous work, <laughs> Uh, not on the current, uh, decided that uh, we should uh, provide support of Russian ghost crypto in uh, various, uh, in, in this or that worldwide used toolkit uh, uh, because uh, uh, self-designed uh, formats uh, were, not, uh, were inconvenient and we wanted uh, to use worldwide ones. At that moment, we studied, uh, in fact, three variants, uh, OpenSSL, uh, GNU-TLS, which was not mature enough at that moment, and NSS. We've chosen OpenSSL, I don't remember the exact reasons, and then we decided uh, to look into the code. So, the first uh, we've seen was uh, many, many case switching, uh, oh, in uh, the parts of code related to digital signature, it looked like case RSA we do this, case DSA we do that. Sometimes there were some cases where something was done when we had elliptic curves cryptography. It was uh, very long ago. Uh, we uh, thought uh, whether we have to add the case ghost, uh, decided not to do it. And uh, took a more closer look at the engine subsystem. It was a way to provide plugins that could uh, um, that co could carry the implementation of uh, ciphers, of uh, message digests, and of uh, custom, uh, for example, hardware offloaded implementation of uh, worldwide algorithms. Uh, or uh, random number generations. And uh, uh, the last but not least, uh, we've seen that uh, the main body of code uh, contained uh, hard-coded algorithm pairing, 
and uh, well, Shawan was the king at that moment, and well, okay, you can use any digital signature algorithm if uh, your digest uh, is Shawan. Uh, it uh, did not uh, fit our purposes because our standards required that uh, only uh, Russian ghost uh, hash function should be used with Russian ghost signature. And uh, after completing the study, we decided that uh, the best way will be writing a custom patch that uh, will implement uh, callback structures for digital signature algorithms as it was already done for uh, uh, ciphers and digests and uh, then we thought we uh, when we write it we provide it to upstream they will accept our patch uh, and everything will uh, get brilliant so here is uh, the very brief history in uh, uh, a very brief history of uh, ghost uh, implementation in OpenSSL. In the branch 098, uh, 098 uh, we've implemented a separate page, which uh, bro has broken uh, binary compatibility, but, uh, well, we expected that it uh, will be a good starting point to discuss. Uh, then, uh, so uh, for uh, some time, Ghost Engine was a part of uh, OpenSSL bundle. Uh, then uh, it moved to a separate project, uh, and uh, then uh, there was uh, uh, and for for now in the main stable branch 1.1.1, it's uh, we have a chain of uh, breaks and fixes. Uh, it's a normal pro process for not wildly use. Uh, functions and uh, there is a branch for work in progress uh, where I am implementing the current Russian TLS standards. So when we published, uh, when we have finished uh, the first uh, version of patch uh, for the 098 version, we were happy that we did it. Uh, everything was okay with OpenSSL self-test. And we published uh, our patch at the OpenSSL dev mailing list and waited, uh, well, uh, uh, not immediately applauded, uh, not immediately accepting, but at least we, we were waiting for this or that reaction. As, as far as I remember, the only comment we've got uh, was uh, that uh, we should uh, switch comments from C++ style to C style. <laughs> It was uh, rather discouraging at that moment. So then uh, for some, uh, uh, well, it took us about half a year uh, to implement the patch. And then uh, for about uh, four or five months, we did not know what to do with it. Because uh, there, was no, uh, there was no discussion, there was no public interest. Uh, we made some presentation at various developer conference, uh, but it was not our aim because we uh, uh, had to adopt uh, this patch to the changing versions of OpenSSL itself, uh, and uh, it was uh, rather time consuming. So we needed to push this patch to, uh, to main code base of the OpenSSL. At that moment, uh, uh, I've noted that uh, signature of one of the OpenSSL team members, Dr. Steven Hansen, uh, contained uh, the line, we need funding and uh, we'll discuss the suggestion of, uh, and, and we'll discuss the suggestion of uh, work. And, uh, well, our bosses uh, have uh, came into contact with the uh, OpenSSL team, with, uh, directly with Steven, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, here uh, began the process of the integration of uh, the library to upstream. Uh, it was uh, finally added to version uh, 1.0. 
Uh, and uh, this version uh, contained a lot of changes, but I will uh, say about uh, those uh, that were the most important for us. Uh, there appeared a concept of uh, public key context, EOP PKCTX. There appeared two callback structures, uh, one uh, to implement uh, the crypt operations themselves. <coughs> and the other to uh, deal with uh, ISN.1 uh, encoding, decoding, and so on and so forth. And uh, here uh, was written a reference implementation of Russian ghost uh, cryptography, which became the uh, part of uh, engine subdirectory. Uh, well, and uh, I should uh, mention two points uh, which are the lower part of the slide because uh, they will be repeated again and again and again during the rest of my presentation. There are a lot of uh, fixed uh, lists, uh, fixed internal lists in OpenSSL. Enumeration of uh, algorithms, enumeration of AIDs, enumeration of uh, cipher models, uh, on and on and on. And uh, in fact, every changes in uh, standards uh, uh, requires changing in this list. And the uh, OpenSSL team treats this uh, as a uh, breaking uh, compatibility, and uh, I'm afraid they are right. I'm afraid they are more right than, uh, though, uh, than I, I am. Uh, and the other problem was uh, we tried to implement callback structures to, uh, in uh, the libssl, uh, which was uh, TLS SSL stack. Uh, but, uh, in fact, we didn't succeed because, uh, be because of uh, some uh, support of uh, legacy ciphers use and because of, uh, well, at that moment, more, irregu more irregular structure of uh, the libssl itself. The libcrypto was more regular at that time. So, uh, it was uh, okay till 2014 when uh, the Hardbleed uh, vulnerability was published. At that moment, uh, the OpenSSL team was uh, significantly underfunded. Uh, so, when uh, Hardbleed occurred, the community understood that uh, Guys, we have a very important product, which uh, is uh, developed uh, without, in fact, without regular procedures uh, by uh, underfunded uh, people. Uh, so uh, it means that uh, such uh, incidents will uh, repeat again and again. So something should be done. And uh, from uh, that time, uh, the, core, the open cell core team, open cell management team was reformatted. Uh, the processes uh, were set up. Uh, now there are strict uh, processes of reviewing the patches. Uh, now there are public roadmaps. Uh, so, in fact, it means that uh, when hard, uh, after Hardbleed occurred, uh, the modern history of OpenSSL began, and now it's significantly much more secure than uh, it was uh, before, bo both in process and in code. Uh, in uh, uh, 2015, I met uh, some people uh, from the OpenSSL team during one of uh, ITF meetings. Uh, I met Rich Sals, uh, who is a well-known person in uh, ITF cryptography community. And uh, he was uh, very cooperative and we uh, get an agreement how should we deal with uh, ghost cryptography in OpenSSL. At first, uh, uh, 
The problem is that nobody in open in main OpenSSL team is uh, interested enough in uh, ghost support. So uh, nobody was interested to uh, uh, either to provide uh, new algorithms uh, or to fix something. Uh, and uh, at that moment we came to agreement that uh, the engine should uh, be moved uh, to a separate project. But uh, all uh, the other patches, which are not algorithm specific but, pro uh, but Russian protocol uh, specific, uh, uh, will go to the main tree and uh, so it was a process that took uh, three months uh, to make uh, support of Russian Ghost uh, matching the new OpenSSL standards. Uh, they uh, made me significantly rewrite the patch, in fact. Uh, and uh, I was very happy when uh, uh, the patch was accepted to main tree. At last, now I'm sure it compiles uh, at uh, every change. Of course, uh, as a new Russian crypto standards uh, were developed uh, during, uh, de were developed since 2005 to 2015, there were again changes in internal lists. Uh, there was a more clear design uh, of the LibSSL to that moment, so various uh, support of uh, Russian specific exchange uh, was moved to separate callbacks and I hope uh, that uh, there will be a day when uh, these callbacks uh, will be fully encapsulated in engine so it will significantly remove the process of the negotiation of uh, what to do with it. So it was accepted and uh, Russian TLS became a first uh, class uh, variations of protocol at uh, 1.1.0 uh, uh, branch. Currently, uh, if you download OpenSSL, you get uh, support of uh, standards uh, that were finalized in Russia until to, uh, estimate uh, until approximately 2014. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are some work in progress branches. Ghost Engine became a separate patch, as, uh, a, a separate package, and uh, it's available at least f in f Fedora in uh, Debian, in uh, Russian uh, widely used distribution Alt Linux and uh, uh, some other distributions less popular. Uh, there, there, uh, there is uh, a problem uh, that uh, as uh, Russian crypto algorithms is, uh, are not uh, worldwide standardized, uh, we have a lack of uh, packages containing root certificates of trusted CAs. It's a really big problem. And uh, the last but not least, uh, we have a problem with uh, Red Hat specifics with script policies because uh, they, because I understand why Red Hat people don't want to have anything with, uh, don't have anything to do with Ghost. I think uh, that uh, uh, sooner or later we'll get an agreement how it can be uh, done uh, without breaking the compatibility and uh, <coughs> system ideology and uh, well maybe uh, ghost specific crypto policy will become a part of a Red Hat uh, package of ghost engine oh no <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of uh, pr uh, minor problems and interactions because, uh, of course, uh, the process of standardization uh, has a separate uh, timeline uh, which has nothing uh, to do with the open cell process. So, uh, 
the best uh, solution we have is distribution patches to main code uh, of OpenSSL uh, together with engine for those who really wants to support uh, brand new variations of Russian crypto, they will have to rebuild OpenSSL sometimes. But uh, most of these patches are usually accepted to main code base. Of course, Ghost has low priority for the world outside Russia. Oh, we understand it. Yes. Of course, we still have a problem of extending hard coding lease. And we will have it forever. It's okay. And uh, we have a relatively poor state of international standardization of Ghost algorithm, though a lot of uh, documents are published uh, as uh, informational uh, RFCs. Uh, so we are working on it. Here is uh, the list of uh, algorithms uh, which were supported in uh, various versions of the engine. I don't think uh, it uh, is interesting, it's just for, uh, just for information. So you see that deprecated standards uh, are fading out and new standards are implementing. It's okay. Uh, we have <coughs> Russian uh, national standards for X5, uh, we have national X509 profile, uh, PKCS 10, uh, we have uh, national standards for PKCS 8 and PKCS 12, of course, we have uh, standards for SMIME CMS, of course we have standards for TLS, it's uh, the main uh, purpose uh, of, uh, uh, for, for our clients, but uh, till the last versions it was impossible to implement the DTLS using GOS because uh, some uh, extra protection was uh, not DTLS friendly, it requires uh, the fixed order of uh, packets to be delivered. Okay, new, new, new TLS specification allow using DTLS. There are, of course, uh, work in progress specifications which uh, are partially finalized in Russian, partially uh, implemented in uh, code. So I hope that uh, sooner or later they will be part of, um, of OpenSSL, at least in TLS part, and uh, some additions in uh, CMS and X509, I think. And of course, uh, we have uh, a standard set of supplementary algorithms, HMAC, PRF, uh, many of them. Uh, the next one. Now, when we have a support of uh, the ghost or any, in fact, crypt, uh, any non-standard crypto in uh, open, uh, OpenSSL, well, you still need to support it uh, in the application that you uh, that use uh, crypto libraries. For the most cases, if uh, the application uses the modern API, uh, you can just load configuration file, ensure that engine providing the algorithms uh, is loaded via the configuration file, and uh, everything will be more or less okay. There are uh, st still now some legacy applications. Uh, I marked them. We know about RSA. Uh, the, uh, the, it means that in uh, most cases you have to rewrite uh, from uh, this or that algorithm uh, specific uh, API to universal API, to EVP API. And sometimes, uh, for example, uh, the, product, uh, the product of Crypto.com uh, OpenVPN Ghost, we had to uh, look into the protocol and uh, carefully replace uh, the uh, basic primitives uh, to Russian Ghost specific. Uh, and it's a relatively rare case, but uh, you should take it into account. Uh, well, uh, the only 
problem uh, which stays unsolved till now is uh, support of uh, Russian crypto in uh, Java. There are at least uh, three uh, Java implementations of um, Russian crypto. There is a Wildfly OpenSSL Java library which, ref uh, which uses OpenSSL uh, and crypto provider. I tried to provide uh, using uh, to provide the ghost uh, algorithms, ghost ciphers use ads, uh, in this library, but I did not have any success. Uh, first of all, because I almost don't know Java. Uh, loading uh, the configuration uh, file uh, did not help me, so uh, I hope that uh, somewhere uh, this uh, work will be done and uh, we will have uh, support of, uh, in fact, any, as I told before, in fact, any nation, any national cryptography in uh, this script provider. So. Okay, we, uh, we took uh, a worldwide toolkit, we used uh, a lot of uh, code uh, that uh, we did not want to uh, write ourselves, such as uh, ISN.1 uh, library uh, and many, many other. So what do we give to community? Uh, first of all, uh, I think uh, that uh, Russian Ghost uh, engine, uh, using it, uh, is uh, the most comprehensive testing of the engine subsystem in OpenSSL. Uh, then I should mention uh, I, sh I should mention two bugs found uh, during uh, implementation of uh, new standards. Uh, the first uh, was a very nasty bug uh, that uh, when uh, the elliptic uh, curves math uh, was changed uh, in uh, uh, sh shortly before 1.1.1 uh, version was released, uh, we found that uh, it uh, does not work with uh, some curves used in Ghost because uh, the points on, on elliptic curves uh, go to uh, infinity. And uh, I immediately uh, written to people who did the change, they agreed that it was a bug and uh, fixed uh, their math. So, uh, the other bug I think uh, relatively significant was uh, stack uh, excursion in uh, during the TLS handshake though I don't think uh, it was uh, exploitable outside but uh, anyway it's better to have uh, it fixed uh, as Russia is a country where non latent based the script is used uh, of course we had a lot of uh, problems uh, related to internalization uh, so uh, some patches uh, providing uh, more uh, providing better support of uh, non latin scripts uh, was fixed and now i have a side project uh, related to support uh, email address international in X509. I hope it will be finalized. Uh, yes, m many people don't like uh, email address international. I, I, don't, I don't like them too. <laughs> but as uh, there are people in such countries as uh, China, Th Thailand and many others where Alphabet ha has nothing uh, common with Latin, uh, there we, uh, people will need uh, the scripts and uh, to deal with it uh, in this or that, that way. Uh, then uh, I hope uh, that uh, the, uh, sooner or later we will move, uh, move, we will move some national specific uh, structures to uh, sep uh, 
to for we will convert some national uh, specific structures uh, to form that uh, will be managed uh, via engine and uh, it uh, will allow to simplify uh, the main code base of uh, crypto library uh, of course a lot of memory leaks a, a lot of uh, uh, small bugs were fixed and uh, I want to mention a project uh, we made by one of uh, participants of uh, uh, Ghost Engine development who provided uh, support of uh, Russian uh, hash uh, Strebog uh, in the Linux kernel if I'm not mistaken version uh, 4.21 will uh, contain it here uh, the relevant links to the presentation. Uh, first of all, the link to Ghost Engine itself. Then, uh, for those uh, who basically and doesn't know where OpenSSL code lives, here is the link to OpenSSL. Well, uh, this may be uh, the most important link uh, in this presentation. It's a brilliant. Uh, paper describing writing a custom engine in OpenCell and uh, everyone who wants to write uh, their own engine for example uh, hardware acceleration or something else uh, must read this article not should but must uh, then uh, here is uh, the link to Russian crypto standard body uh, enumeration of uh, her, RFC is covering Russian crypto algorithms. Here is uh, the document uh, describing new Russian TLS. I actively participate uh, in this work. And here are two mailing lists uh, dedicated uh, first to uh, Russian cryptography in open source products, and the second is dedicated to Ghost Engine itself. Well, uh, the language currently is Russian, but if you write in English, of course, you will be answered. Last but not least, I want uh, to make special thanks for those uh, who cooperated uh, with us during um, the, well, almost 15 years of development of Russian Ghost. First of all, I sh should mention people from uh, OpenSL team, Dr. Steve Hansen mentioned before, Rich Sals mentioned before, Richard Levitt and Matt Caswell. Uh, they were very cooperative and uh, did a lot uh, to make possible to provide the Russian Ghost Crypto in the main code base. Then I want to thank uh, people <laughs> from Red Hat team, Thomas, uh, Thomas Mars, Alexander Bakavoy, Many thanks. Uh, without the efforts, uh, it was uh, almost impossible to, uh, to implement uh, Ghost Engine as a package in Fedora. Uh, I want to thank uh, some people uh, from Russian cryptography community, Vasily Dalmatov, uh, Vartan Khachiturov, Igor Ustinov, Stanislav Smishlaev, uh, who actively participate in international uh, standardization of uh, Russian uh, algorithms and protocols uh, and uh, uh, they provide uh, help uh, when it's necessary. I want to thank people from Alt Linux team, Alexei Novodvorsky, Dmitry Levin, Gleb Malinovsky, Vitaly Chikunov for their efforts in uh, uh, improving and development of the engine. And of course, uh, I want uh, to thank to those who contributed in the uh, engine uh, code itself, uh, Victor Wagner and, Art uh, and Artem Tufrina, who worked in Crypto.com and uh, provided a basic uh, uh, version of the engine. Uh, Alexey Dikterov, who, implemented, uh, who provided a very fast implementation of uh, modern Russian hash functions, Tribok. Uh, Max Tishkov, who implemented uh, Kuznetsk uh, Russian uh, modern cipher algorithms. And many, many other people 
who uh, I don't remember uh, all of them, uh, unfortunately, but uh, of course uh, they the, their efforts uh, were significant for uh, providing uh, Russian ghost in PLS. Thank you very much. If you have questions, uh, please, I'm here, I'm ready to answer them. Uh, you are uh, talking about uh, putting things, uh, more things into the uh, complex and engine, but on the other hand, uh, Chinese got uh, their SM ciphers directly into the OpenSSL code. And I heard that, or well, at least it was like uh, in some email or, or over some discussion, I don't know if it was on GitHub or OpenSSL yeah. or, or somewhere, that uh, there is some interest to, to actually put the ghost into ghost algorithms once they are really like uh, established uh, in, the, in the standards at least the, the R, um, uh, RSCs uh, that they will, they will get uh, into the actual uh, and the main code? main code well it's a very good question uh, and uh, unfortunately I don't know the answer uh, we, we have Uh, the, the, the question, uh, the question uh, sorry, the question is uh, that uh, the Chinese algorithms uh, became uh, a part of uh, the core of an cell and ghost are uh, left aside. Yeah. So uh, the Russian uh, regulation in sphere of cryptography requires uh, certification of uh, implementations. And it's uh, much more simple to uh, provide the uh, certified version of uh, crypto as separate engine than uh, in uh, than publish it as a code. It's impossible, in fact, to publish certified version as a part of uh, open source project. Uh, so. Uh, there, uh, of course, we can deal with uh, code in the main code base, uh, uh, replacing uh, j just replacing the callbacks by engine. It's uh, allowed by OpenSSL API, uh, and uh, uh, but as the ghost algorithms were first set of third-party algorithms appeared outside. Uh, nobody wanted to build it uh, in the main code base. And uh, as far as I know, there are people for, from China who became part of uh, OpenSSL team, or at least contributors, and uh, they support uh, the algorithms at least, par at least partly. I may be mistaken about their, stu uh, the, their status, but uh, I've heard something like this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yes, I have a dream to become a part of OpenSSL team <laughs> and uh, support. Uh, and uh, in this case, uh, maybe they will agree that uh, Ghost Algorithm came, can become a part of uh, OpenSSL main code base. But well, it uh, works uh, as part of engine and uh, it's no problem. Sure. Are you working on TLS 1.3? Uh, the standardization has begun, uh, but uh, not yet. We will have... Uh, uh, says, uh, there is a draft describing a uh, new uh, authenticated encryption uh, mode, uh, which differs from uh, Galois counter mode and CCM. Uh, when, it's, uh, when it's finalized, I think we will... Uh, so sooner or later, provide uh, the specification of using the Russian ghost uh, to TLS 1.3. What about the browser? Oh, <laughs> it's a pain. <laughs> uh, there are no OpenSSL related, uh, th there are no browsers uh, except maybe links uh, who uh, use crypto from OpenSSL. Uh, most of them uh, use uh, crypto from NSS. 
As far as I know, there are two uh, browsers uh, which support Ghost, but they're not widely used. The first one is Yandex browser. Uh, it's uh, a fork of Chromium, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and uh, it has uh, support of uh, Russian Ghost algorithms. Uh, the other one uh, is a so-called Sputnik browser. It's uh, developed in one of uh, government agencies. Uh, it supports Ghost Algorithm 2 and, well, it, it has an easter egg. When you, uh, when you establish a connection, uh, a secure connection using Ghost, it sh shows uh, uh, not uh, a lock, uh, but uh, 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 Two-headed eagle uh, <laughs> <laughs> indicating that it's not is not uh, not just secure; it's Russian secure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fancy uh, it's a fancy feature, but uh, well, if Yandex browser is uh, more or less in use, uh, the Sputnik browser is almost not in use. <laughs> Uh? Ah, yes, uh, there is a commercial, uh, thank you, uh, there is a commercial implementation of, uh, of, of Firefox uh, implemented by a Russian company named Lissi. Uh, well, you can try to buy it and use it. What about this, you say about the... Sorry? You say about the certificate of Yes, yes, it's a very big problem uh, because, uh, first of all, it's a political problem. Uh, uh, there, so, uh, from time to time, there appears a project of uh, standardizing, uh, of creating a big Russian CE and uh, standardizing uh, and, and making uh, it conforming the CA browser form requirements. And after that, uh, the Ghost, C, uh, Ghost uh, root certificate uh, can be added to various operation system bundles and uh, Ghost will start work out of box. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, now this uh, project is uh, not actively developed. Uh, you cannot care for ghost. Uh, you can uh, no, uh, you uh, you cannot care for ghost uh, out of Russia, uh, except uh, very limited uh, cases. Some uh, Russian uh, sites require ghost uh, to be connected. And, well, I should mention about uh, some projects uh, of people who don't trust to NSA and decided that uh, if they replace uh, IS with Ghost, they get better security. Uh, well, it uh, all uh, depends on your three models. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Is it used in Russia? Yes, it's uh, more or less used uh, in Russia for, uh, uh, let's say, uh, communication to uh, government agencies. Mostly, but uh, mm -hmm. there are a lot of projects of, uh, well, of more spreading ghost to. Uh, then, if, if there are no more questions, I should mention that uh, national-wide cryptography uh, is uh, present not only in Russia, the China was mentioned already. Of course, uh, there is national uh, crypto in uh, Japan, if I'm not mistaken, in Korea. 
Uh, and uh, in some republics of the former USSR, the Ukraine has a uh, Kalina algorithm, uh, Belarus has uh, their own algorithm too, uh, some Middle Asian states have uh, their algorithms. So, so the problem of using uh, not very worldwide standard crypto is uh, actual for more people than uh, you can think uh, at first glance. Thank you very much. <laughs>